John Foster. I'm one of the instructors at the art department and this is going to be a brief demo on making brushes in Photoshop. Uh, first off, having a canvas that you can work on. Um, just have a nice square canvas. Uh, it doesn't matter where I draw in it and whatever I want to draw to make a brush. In this case we'll just make a, a triangle and scribble that in. Uh, next step would be uh, to select it. I don't need all of that white space around it. It'll make a uh, funny looking uh, preview for the brush and distort it a little bit. So let's just go in and reselect. Uh, holding down the shift key, we can make a rectangular selection, uh, I mean a square selection. And uh, shift bar, I can move it around and get it centered. And now hit copy and puts it into the memory, Photoshop's memory and go back up here to edit and define brush preset and there you have it and it's got a generic name right now just hit ok and we'll go back to our brush uh, tool and you can see it down here in our brush presets and we'll click on it and let's go ahead and clear out the brush that we the mark that we just made and now you can see that if we mark this brush down. Um, I already have flow is at 59%, so let's bring it up just just to show you. Bring that back up again. There we go. But we have a pretty featureless kind of brush. Only the edges are showing any kind of interest. So what we next up would be go into brush tip shape and let's open up the spacing on it so that we can see the individual marks on this one. And it depends on what you're trying to do with your brushes. You might want more overlap or uh, you can adjust the flow or the texture. But for this one, I definitely wanted to see the shape uh, repeating pattern. Uh, and there we have it. So let's get rid of that again. That's the first step. I just needed to open up the, uh, open up the spacing a little bit. Then we can go into shape dynamics. And right now, having it on, we have the, uh, the size jitter. And I have it set to pen pressure, so now the harder I push, the bigger it gets, the lighter I push, the smaller it gets. And that's great, and I'm going to keep it there. You can, of course, go in and, and uh, if you have one uh, pen with a stylus wheel, a pen tilt, or set it to fade, you can do these, but I find this to be the most effective um, use of uh, the size jitter. You can, uh, you know, if you don't want it to go start from such a small, uh, brush size, you can change that from uh, moving up the minimum diameter uh, so that it's not a big change in the, in the scale of the brush. But I'm going to bring it back down because that's where I normally would use it. Now, the next thing which will make this uh, really open up possibilities here is the angle jitter. And let's turn on uh, direction. And it's the one again that I use the most. And so now the brush follows the pen. And let's go ahead and make the brush a little bit smaller and you can see. So whatever direction I'm pulling or left to right or um, up and down, it's going to follow and make a spiral of those. And you can see the possibilities there can be uh, are great in terms of application for Oh, just just everything, creating a certain uh, pattern, flow, uh, radiating lines. Let's get rid of these marks for now. And let's go back into another one uh, that's going to add uh, some more uh, uh, interest to this brush would be then the opacity. Uh, and I have that set to pen pressure, so then I can start to drag these out and push harder. And, it can be giving a sense of depth, atmospheric perspective. And there, now I have this repeating pattern of the triangles creating a, a, a texture or a textile in a sense, but also wrapping around a form perhaps, going off into the distance, getting closer. And uh, that is normally what I, for the most part, how I set up my brushes, but of course can get much more sophisticated than that. Let's, clear out all of that. And you can go into uh, scattering and 
can create a more random bit of scattering of the brushes. It still has all the other uh, presets going on, but it's dropping them uh, off. Uh, you can have it set on both axes, so you can really changing the scale and size. And um, I'm not going to use scattering. We can have a count jitter on that. We can really up that, you know, maybe leaves on a tree or something like that. If this wasn't triangles and you made a, a different kind of leaf brush, you could have that. So that's that's nice. And uh, you play around with these, but uh, I don't have time to go into it into great depth for this this particular demo, so uh, but maybe in later ones. Uh, let's turn that off for now and we'll go into texture. We can add some texture in this. If we click on that, you can see here's your, where you can pick your textures from, various textures. And then you can change the scale of the texture, and you can see down here the scale changing uh, on the brush, and you can change how the depth of that texture. And I can take it all the way down so it's not there at all to all the way to 100 percent and let's just bring it down to around 70. And you can see that that adds a lot of life and character to to this brush um, already just with those three little uh, preset uh, indicators. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, move on. Uh, into saving this brush uh, since we, I like the way it's working now. So what we want to do uh, so we don't lose it is go into this our little window, upper, this little icon in the upper right hand of our brush palette. Click on that and click on new brush preset and let's name it. Let's name it a texture triangle and we'll call that one a one and hit OK. Now if we click back here on Brush Presets, we're going to see two of those now. And this one right here is our newest. This is the, the brush that we just saved with all the, these uh, preset adjustments uh, in it. If we click on this one, it's back to that original pretty featureless brush. So we can get rid of that one, hold down Option, cut it out, and now there we have that brush. Now it's saved into your presets and you can come back and uh, readjust your presets in terms of the order of your brushes. Um, again, and save little, uh, little libraries of different brushes that you'd like and name them, uh, but we'll get into that in another demo. But for now, experiment with playing around with all the different dual brush uh, is, a, is a fun, creating even more of a sense of random something between, you know, pattern and texture between the two different brushes that you select. And it, it creates very much a little bit of a, a, a chaos that can happen, but that, that is good in terms, especially in a digital world. So you can create some random effects and you can get happy mistakes and you can get away from the, the, the ever-present uh, circular digital feel of smoothness and it is uh, you know such a signifier of a lot of digital work uh, there you have it um, I'm looking forward to seeing you know new brush presets from from uh, you guys and we can share them you can save them and email them and uh, keep experimenting it's a lot of fun <laughs>